Hey guys, it's Sam. I'm sorry about the air conditioner, but it is so hot where um, I live in New York, and so I can tell my face is a little red. <laughs> I thought I would vlog the last week of work slash school. For those of you that don't know, I am a paraprofessional in a New York City public school. Schools have been uh, closed since March, like the rest of New York, and we're finally at the end of the week, the last week of school, and I have filmed a few things, but I never uploaded. For me, I just, with all the more important stuff, I just didn't feel like uploading, and I thought, you know what, some of you might enjoy seeing what my last week is like. It's our, it's 3.39 right now in the afternoon, it's Monday, June 22nd, and I had at 2 p.m. I had my uh, pre-K uh, team meeting and after this I'll insert a clip of, of uh, me in that meeting and right now in terms of work I'm so our website our website is not going to be updated uh, but we are going to put a few new things uh, for the kids to look at during the summer and not all the families did every single project or activity that we put up on the website, so we figured that they could look back. Everything that we've done since March is up there. And so what I'm gonna be doing is reading this book. I have to read it, upload it, and then normally how we would have celebrated is by having a big party at the end of the year. And that would have, we would welcome the families. We would, uh, there's sometimes face painting. Of course, there's food, there's sprinklers. And what I'm gonna be doing right now is going over, we also sing songs. So I'm gonna be singing or, or going over some of the songs that we have to sing, that we usually sing. They're all about graduating and I'm growing up and stuff like that. I know them, but I just want to go over them. So yeah, that's what I have to do in terms of work. Five, yeah. So I'm going to read that one. Cool. Um, and we should just try to get those read and put in the folder by Friday. Yeah. Because I figure I'll put them up mm -hmm. on Friday so that I don't have to mess with the website again after that. Or okay. For at least a little while. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know. Are you guys doing anything for summer birthdays? Are you saying happy birthday to your summer birthdays on your last call or? Oh, right. Oh, we should. Oh, John, we should. We have Hi friends, Miss Sam here. I'm going to be reading you a book and today's book is Curious George Goes to School by Margaret and H.A. Rays. Okay, let's get started. It was an open house at George's school, so the man with the yellow hat had come to school with George. And that says, well, I finished reading the book and then I decided to uh, maybe upload another book. There's a nightmare in my closet, but we'll see if I get to that. I did put it on my list to do. Um, I'm going to practice the songs and I thought it might be fun for you guys to hear them. This is graduation song and it's to the tune of head, and sh head shoulders, knees and toes. Head and shoulders. We learned our letters A, B, C, A, B, C. We learned our numbers one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> I can even write my name with ease. Aren't you very proud of me? Proud of me. Kindergarten, here we come, here we come. Kindergarten, here we come, here we come. So long, pre K, it's been fun. Kindergarten, garden here we come here we come and this song is fun because so we learned our letters a b c and then the kids loved this the part the second repeating of that word because they scream it so we learned our letters a b c a b c and then this one is called we are moving on to kindergarten we are moving on to kindergarten pre-k goodbye we are moving on to kindergarten don't stop us, don't you try to 
our teachers, we will miss you. Thanks for all you've done. We'll remember all you've taught us. We've had lots and lots of fun. We are moving on. We are moving on. We are moving on to kindergarten. We are moving on. We are moving on. We are moving on today. Hooray! That's a cute one. They're also cute. And then the last one is pre-K spirit. I got that pre-K spirit up in my head, up in my head, up in my head. I got that pre-K spirit up in my head, up in my head today. And then uh, it's the same thing, but the second verse is deep in my heart, third verse is down in my toes, and then the last verse is I got that pre-K spirit all over me, all over me, all over me. I got that pre-K spirit all over me, all over me today. Hooray! Uh, there's a few other songs that we used to sing as well. Uh, let's see, Mr. Sun, oh Mr. Sun. It's the golden sun, but we're not going to be doing that one. And another one is Peace Like a River. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Uh, but we cut those two songs and we're just singing basically the end of the year graduation specific kind of songs. Um, so yeah, they're fun songs. It's I'm not sure how we're going to do it with the kids tomorrow, but it should be fun, and I'm just going over the songs. I'll go over them a few more times today. Hey, I'm back in my office. I'm supposed to be working out right now. The city has offered a bunch of classes since the pandemic, or since schools closed down, um, and not just schools, but, you know, New York, New York closed down, so they have offered us classes, exercise classes to take um, starting since April and they have offered um, a variety. I'm impressed. The meditation, yoga, Pilates, Zumba. Tonight is 90s fitness dance and it is so much fun mostly because of the instructor. Her energy is off the charts. Like it's so good. Um, I also wanted to share with you my wall back here of the kids artwork. I wish I kind of started at the beginning. Uh, but I only put it up earlier this month. There's a mood meter, train, spider, texture name, a couple other things, and that caterpillar. So we started that 10 days, uh, we count, we started to count down uh, 10 days left to school. So that should be 10 with the exception of the head. I'm gonna put the rest up because our last class is tomorrow and there's no point in, I'm gonna take this down at the end of the week. So um, I thought it was a cute project and there were supposed to be numbers along with them but i didn't like the way that it looks so i took it off and hopefully um the kids will enjoy it although none of them really said anything a couple of people when i had the spider there was a spider was hanging in the middle here a couple of people noticed that but um yeah so i sure work out i'm pretty stressed out right now and maybe i could get in there's 15 minutes left of the class so I wanted to just show you a little bit of the class. Look what she's wearing. It's so 90s. <laughs> is attendance so this is assignment for today only 31 kids responded out of three classes of 18 and then here is my own spreadsheet that I do uh, just to keep track for myself and then I put it into an official list I am done showering it is almost 11 o'clock and I'm not going to bed anytime soon but I do like to shower uh, around this time and I'm gonna do two work related things one is just go over the songs one more time or a couple more times and then check attendance because some parents will we have a sign in for the day some parents will do it late at night and since I'm awake and I'm gonna turn off my computer anyway I thought I would do that one more time but hopefully I'll see you tomorrow hey it's Tuesday June 23rd I've been a really bad blogger I haven't picked up 
my phone to film and the thing is I've had my phone in my hand so bad Sam uh, but this morning we had our last live class uh, normally it's on Wednesdays but we changed it because fifth grade graduation is tomorrow fifth grade virtual graduation is tomorrow and um, so we decided to have it today unfortunately one family I guess missed the memo that it was today even though it was reminders were sent and um, I think on the invite for the Google meet it said that it's for Tuesday we're changing it from Wednesday to Tuesday but unfortunately they came the last minute when we were saying goodbye so we stayed on the call uh, in the meet for a few more minutes but we are so this was the last live class together where it was kind of mandatory but not really all the families came tomorrow we're gonna have a kindergarten Q&A normally if we were still at school the last we would have gone to the the big school because we are at a satellite location um, we would have gone to the big school a couple of times to eat lunch there so the kids can kind of be comfortable next year uh, going to the big school and then we also would have went to the a kindergarten classroom where they could ask questions and see um, how uh, kindergarten classrooms look like at the big school unfortunately we couldn't do that and so tomorrow we're gonna have a Q&A for any questions that they the kids might have uh, so everybody is welcome to that it's all the pre-k classes going and then on Thursday there's supposed to be a music class um, hopefully she can make it so she can see those kids see the kids again uh, they are that particular family is moving to Brazil so it would have been really nice if she had made this call uh, during the call though it was really sweet we didn't sing any of the songs so me going over the songs was eh, what are you gonna do it was nice to read through the songs a few times and then uh, my teacher she played a slideshow that she made with the music somewhere over the rainbow highlighting each kid it was so sweet I loved it then they sang us, me and um, a, the, a little girl who has a summer birthday, we sang her happy birthday. And then uh, we talked about summer plans and it was just really nice. Everybody got a chance to talk. Um, and then since I didn't sleep that well, I just took a nap after that. Uh, but my nap wasn't very good. I was waking up every like 30 minutes. So that kind of stunk. I was even gonna take a nap after I got up to make lunch for my grandmother but then I was like I won't go to sleep I won't I'll have an even harder time than I usually do sleeping um, any of you know your chronotype I didn't know that was a thing and then I looked it up and apparently I'm a dolphin which if you read about them yeah, it makes sense um, I thought it was just a fun little thing to waste some time to learn about so take a quiz what chronotype are you and then this in I think 10 minutes I have my UFT meeting that's gonna talk about back to school, what that might look like. I was trying to compare it to the feeling of um, snow days when you're not sure if you're gonna get a snow day or not, that feeling, um, and we'll probably have that for the entire summer. I don't see uh, the Department of Education making a decision or UFT making a decision until the very last second this virus is ever evolving, changing and we don't we don't know there's a few possibilities one is we do remote again the other is going back to school or the and another is like a mixture of both or we'll do like alternating schedules of kids um because you cannot have them socially distance themselves from everybody it's just not gonna work um so we'll see what happens um I don't know I ideally I would love to just go back to the way things were but that's not acceptable and we don't ever want to put anybody in danger including myself um, so this question of the unknown we'll see but so what this meeting is going to be about I think is uh, what it might look like having plans for whatever the outcome will be in terms of going back to school whatever that might look like having plans for each of those situations and then there's going to be a talent show at 7 p.m 
by teachers and students. Um, I think it's mostly students, and I think that's such a great uh, thing to include in the last week of school. I'm glad they still did it, and I'm excited for it. Um, I was even I was gonna tell you what's happening tomorrow, but I'm gonna try to vlog tomorrow. Um, one of the things that is gonna happen is so I have been. Uh, having Google Meets with one of the students. Their family had asked me um, if I would want to chat with the student. I was like, sure. And it's been so fun every time we've chatted. Um, well, the last time his sister read me a book that he that she made. And I thought that was so cute. So it would be nice to see him uh, one last time. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to join the UFT meeting. And hopefully I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I'm still, if you hear voices, I'm still uh, in the UFT uh, meeting. Um, and lots of interesting things happening. I have to start dinner, so I have a playing in the background. And that's the update for right now. I'm looking a little crazy, and it's so hot in here. Okay, so it is a little after 8, and I just finished watching the talent show. and. I'm going to play a few clips of how talented these kids are, so let me just press play. That's someone playing the piano. So good. This person, this child is doing gymnastics. It's really like flipping and all that cool stuff. So I was really impressed. Um, it was about 40 minutes and um, some teachers even got in on the fun, which I thought was super cute. So that is um, going to be it in terms of work. This wasn't really work watching the talent show. It's something that I wanted to watch and there is, it's going to be up. Um, I think online for a while. I didn't have to watch today, but I'm glad I did. And then um, attendance, as far as attendance, I don't have to do that because I think I mentioned everybody was, I counted everybody earlier today. Um, just trying to think. Tomorrow, um, I have a few meetings and I'm going to try, try, try to vlog. I will. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, nope, I don't want to start with okay. Today is Wednesday, June 24th, and I uh, am getting ready for my meeting with one of the students. Um, I'm just going over some emails right now, and then uh, again, I had trouble sleeping, so hopefully I can still catch some of the fifth grade graduation. Um, it's almost 12 now, and as you can tell, Tired. I have my coffee in my Montreal mug that Steve got me. And I'm gonna start on to uh, Google Meet in a second. Hey, look, I'm back in my PJs. I, so the meeting with, um, that I had with the child was so good. His sister read me a chapter book again, and then they were showing me stuffed animals, and there, and then a sweet potato that they were growing if that had roots. Uh, no, I'm sorry, they had a sweet potato that all of a sudden, all of a sudden sprouted roots, and it was like this purple color, and it was just so much fun. It was supposed to be about 15 minutes, but we went about 30, which was fine. I would have stayed longer, uh, but. They were, I think they were starting to get bored because they were just randomly like jumping up and down and throwing stuff. So it was time to end the call. Uh, but that was fun. And then now I'm going through, um, so there's this website called Flipgrid where you could put short messages on there. And I'm watching uh, the birthday messages that the kids had for me, which was so sweet. Um, let me just play a few. It's just so beautiful. Happy birthday to you. Happy 
birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Miss Sam. That's so sweet. Happy birthday to you. And then there's... Oh, she got me a flower from her grandmother's garden. Uh, which one was funny? Oh, uh, there's one. Um, he was very shy. Uh, not shy. I don't want to say shy. He just was uh, more of a introvert, and he had, had a sign out that said "Happy Birthday." And then one of the kids had their brother <laughs> singing with him, who was like two years old. Let me see if you if you can hear it. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's so sweet. So what I've been doing is after watching each video, I have been uh, saying thank you um, and kind of trying to tie in their message with the thank you so they know that I watched it and really appreciated it. Uh, I was trying to uh, watch, um, I was trying to watch one of them. I was watching number, up, I got up to 10. Uh, but then it wouldn't play, so I thought that was time to take a break. I'm going to go make lunch now. And then there's uh, the kindergarten meeting uh, Q&A at 2. We just finished our kindergarten Q&A. And halfway through the meeting, my teacher... Uh, so each teacher was fielding questions, uh, taking turns. And her computer just froze or she couldn't hear or something. So I had to take over. And it was a little nerve-wracking because I'm kind of the assistant and not the main like person who's talking so it was I was a little bit nervous but it went really well I thought the kids had some really thoughtful great questions for next year and um, glad that that went well now I am going to finish uh, going through the rest of the Flipgrid messages that the kids sent me for my birthday they're so so cute I am writing back to families I'm writing the email to the child they don't know how to read so I'm hoping that the parents will read it to them like I like even though it's to their parent the email addresses are to their parents I hope that they read it to the child like it's I wrote it to them so I'm gonna finish that up and it's almost three o'clock now it's fitness time 90s fitness <laughs> just want to share a clip with you it is almost 10 p.m. I checked attendance for the last time and I know some of you are like that is all you do is check that attendance and you are partly right I haven't gotten gone too much into the sign-ins but it's where the parents moms or dads will sign in for their child since the child is only four and five they don't really know how to do that stuff and so they go to our website and there's a Google Forms on there that's asking for the child's name and then it'll ask a question. The question sometimes it will be silly like what's your favorite type of donut and we'll give them options of donuts and then another one is like what's your favorite book, book or what's your favorite thing to do with mom or dad or your brother or sister. Things like that. And parents have, so I the website goes live the night before and parents can have all day to fill in that sign in there's no cutoff time um, for them to do it so that's why I check and sometimes I have checked really late at night like 11 12 and there have been like one more person that signs in, and so that's why I'm constantly checking that and then the past two hours I've been uh, doing this PD or professional development course now all of that stuff had been canceled uh, due to the pandemic and I've got I got this email at, in early June and it's one of those things where you're like oh I'll put it off until later if I want to do it and then I decided for some reason to go through my emails I get that urge sometimes to just clear out my email and make sure that um, I get rid of stuff that doesn't need to be starred or you know etc and I was reading about this and I had until Friday this Friday to complete it and you also get credits that are needed as um, an educator I believe this applies to teachers and paras you have to have a hundred hours of this specific credit and so you get that with this course and I was like uh, I should do it and it's been fairly simple um there's two modules I'm on the second one already and I just want to show you I put this into a word document so that I do and 
this is what I've been learning about. So the first module is celebrating the end of the year. And then the second one that I'm on is preparing for September. And this one is really, the second one is really important because it talks about um, how do we deal with racism with these younger children. So I've been uh, reading and trying to just really pay attention to this section. But yeah, um, that's how I'm ending my night. I hope you guys are well and... Oh wait, I feel like I'm ending this video. I'm not ending the video. But, I mean, I'm not ending... Uh, I'm ending this particular clip of the video, but the vlog should go on until Friday. So I'll see you tomorrow, which is Thursday. I'm trying to keep my day straight. Hey, it is Thursday, June 25th. The last Thursday that we'll ever have of this school year. Um, I have been, I'm sure you guys can guess what I'm going to say, checking attendance. It's been really, uh, you know, families are done. It's, school's basically over. Um, so there was not a lot of families that signed in. Uh, we, ha we have, um, a PD meeting that's going to start at 2. It is 1.50, but I'm starting to make lunch for my grandmother. And then, um... Throughout the meeting, I'll prepare. I want to try this Korean dish called Budejuge, and that basically translates to army stew. Um, I I stumbled across it last night, and I was like, "Oh, I want to try it." And the great thing about this dish is you don't need to copy the exact ingredients. It's whatever you have in your um, pantry fridge, and uh, so. I got up at around 11.30. I know that's pretty late, but I don't go to sleep until really late, uh, like 3 or 4 o'clock. So you kind of get like the eight, seven, eight hours. And then I was checking emails and um, my teacher, she sent me a gift card to a local business in Brooklyn, which I thought was so sweet. Uh, I did, I got her, uh, which I mailed out. I was able to print out the gift certificate. I got her a gift card to a black owned business where she lives and it's vegan. Uh, she's gluten free and I know that's not the same thing but I looked at the menu and it seemed like a lot of stuff that she could have so I was really happy about that and um, I sent everybody like on the pre-k team a mask, a face, a sheet mask and then a uh, under eye eye mask that's gold so I thought that was kind of fun and that just that stuff that I've had you if you have followed me um on my in my other videos not just the para ones uh I have Korean beauty subscription subscription boxes and gifts I've gotten as masks so I have a ton and I had gotten the eye masks all like the glass Christmas or something and there was a ton of those and unfortunately I haven't been masking a lot which I should get back into since I have them um, but I just at night, I'm just like, uh, no, I don't feel like it. So, um, yeah, that's, I'm going to finish making the lunch and then, um, join the PD meeting. Not yet. You'll get outside this afternoon. It seems like today is going to be the best weather with humidity, what for humidity wise for the next few days. It is about 3.30, a little after. We just finished our staff meeting, and while it was informative, um, ultimately, we could plan, you know, plan and plan and plan and plan and plan and plan, but until we know what's going to happen in the fall, it's we, we still don't know, and we probably won't know for a while. Um, I want to show you, I want to show you the soup that I made in the pot, but... Uh, we ate it, so I'm gonna show you what's left. That is it. There's spam, hot dogs, kimchi, mushrooms, cheese, egg, and um, also what came today, just a little outside of work, is my imperfect produce, so imperfect foods, eggs, veggies. So I'm going to be putting this away now. It is time to say goodnight. It is, I think, about 1045-ish. 
I checked attendance for the last time today and then I have one more day tomorrow but I just want to show you who came to me she never ever stays with me um, but today she was like right outside the door and then I put the bed down and she came in here so that's a nice welcome nice change Um, so today is Friday the tw j j <laughs> June 26th is the last day of school slash work, although it doesn't feel like the end, but it is the end. Um, we all didn't get the closure that we needed and I know how that's so important to a lot of people. Um, I'm hoping that if things get better or improve, we could somehow all meet up the class my pre-k team um the big school actually is they arranged to for a socially distant party at brooklyn bridge park which i don't know about that but um i think if some people are going to go to that and which is such a nice idea but i'm not going to go and then and that's today too um yeah, so I'm just checking attendance, checking my emails. Um, we have a pre-K team meeting at 2. And, oh, I want to show you. So it's my birthday this uh, Sunday, the 28th. And um, Steve surprised me with something I got. I walked out into the dining room and dining room slash living room, you know, it's a small house. And I saw it. It's so cute. So let me show you. Here it is. It's a birthday cake made out of flowers. Look how cute that is. I kind of like that. I'm not a huge cake fan. I mean, I like cake, but it's not like uh, my favorite, but that's so cute. If I was in school, uh, Steve would have sent me a dog made out of flowers. So this is so nice. And then my, my financial management company sent me this. I think last year it wasn't that good, uh, but... I'm not going to eat it, but my sister will probably eat it because she likes cake. So I thought that was really nice. Okay, so it is almost 2 o'clock. I just put on, just so that I don't look so dead, but now I'm looking and my face has no color, so I'm going to, <laughs> um, I put a little lip gloss, uh, sorry, chapstick on. But I'm looking like I need a little color in my cheeks. Much better. And I put a little bit of eyebrow stuff. But that's it. This is the makeup that I've been doing. Just so like you look like you tried a little bit, but I didn't do that much. Um, so I'm gonna go look at the link. Where are we here? Pre-K team. How do I get there? What is happening over here? Okay. <laughs> One person is on there. It's, uh, she's a school aide, but she was with us at the annex, so that's why she's been kind of involved, even though we didn't really need her. Um, but it was nice that she wanted to, uh, you know, hang out with us. So I'm going to go into the meeting, and hopefully it won't be too sad, and... Yeah. It's almost time for our, our last staff meeting. I'm going to join in a second. It's supposed to happen at 2.45. Our pre-K team meeting ended and um, yeah, it's so weird. I, we were discussing how Connecticut is going to open in the fall and sorry about the air conditioner, but it is so hot outside. I have to put it on. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, and New Jersey I think is going to open so um, I don't know what's going to happen in the fall and it's interesting because the New York City public school system is so many kids over a million children and a lot of people take parents teachers a lot of us take the public transit system to go to work not me um, that's because I commute but you know so many of them commute um, by public transportation so not 
not sure what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna join the meeting now. <laughs> That was it, the last staff meeting for this before the summer. And it was such a fun meeting. They were at the beginning there was music so that I included those clips. Um, but then they did this funny award ceremony. Um, that was all satire and uh, it was comical. Um, they even gave one to the Paris as a special award for being able to connect with students uh, remotely, which I thought was super sweet. I hope they send out the slides of the awards to everyone because I thought it was really cute. Um, I'm going to take, I started it already, I'm going to take some stuff off the walls. And my teacher, she has emailed all the families uh, graduation certi certificate, which I thought was nice. I think that's kind of like sort of closure a little bit to have that actual piece of paper uh, that they could see. Hopefully they'll print it out and give it to their child. Um, but yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. I don't know how to feel. I mean, I'm happy that it's over and I don't have to do online stuff anymore but also but it's a bummer how it ended and um I'm not sure like the what the fall is gonna look like I know Connecticut and New Jersey I believe are saying that they're gonna have school uh, in-person schooling um but New York I think I mentioned that already um there's such a big school system that it's not the same as those states but we'll see um i have a feeling it might be a little bit of both now like some in-person instruction and then remote learning um but yeah i'm gonna finish taking the stuff off the walls and uh check attendance because today's the last day to do it um and yeah that's it i might uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna check my emails throughout uh, the rest of the afternoon. Um, some of the staff are meeting at Brooklyn Bridge Park. I'm not going to, uh, but hopefully they'll take pictures so that we can see them. I almost forgot, good thing I set myself a reminder every Friday, I have to do my last timesheet. And so this is done online and you put in your ID number, And you know, that's the one piece of advice that my mom had given to me when I got into the DOE is remember your employee number. That's what, how many digits is it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven digit number. You'll have to repeat it always. So memorize it and I have. Um, then you put in your phone number and the name of the school. My title, paraprofessional. And then the week, the last week here, started June 22nd. And then send me a receipt. I forgot. I did it the first week and then I forgot the second week. And she has the, the uh, bookkeeper, not the bookkeeper, is she the bookkeeper? She had sent me an email saying, uh, if your name is here, you forgot to submit your timesheet, and I, that's when I put my reminder in. Thank you. I, so your response was submitted. That's nice. Um, and then, oh, I just noticed the email. Uh, one of the families wrote back about the graduation certificate. Let's see. Thank you so much. What a nice surprise. Child's name. Response to seeing this was now she can sleep all day. I guess that means she worked hard. Thank you so, thank you both for such a wonderful year and all the, that's beautiful. And then my teacher just sent out an email that the pre-K website will no longer be updated, but it will have summer activities posted. So that's awesome. Okay. And then, so I did my timesheet. Last timesheet, I believe. I saw there was something for next week, but I'm not doing anything next week. Today is officially my last day. Um... 
the hell your girl already signed in. So I that you know when I do attendance, I also I don't just check check the time sheet. Uh, time sheet. I don't just check the sign in page. I check emails if they uploaded any activities, um, things like that. But I will get today if not a lot of people are signing in. Uh, we just ordered dinner uh, for my birthday. I, it's not until you guys are must be tired of hearing me mention my birthday so many times and when it's gonna be uh, we ordered we're gonna celebrate today uh, I figure with the last day of school it'll be fun like to put it all together and uh, we ordered for one of my favorite places we had ordered from them in May for Mother's Day I think um, and we just love that restaurant it's local and uh, the food is really good uh, so we got that and and so that's what we're going to do and yeah I'll see you guys maybe a little bit later <laughs> hey it is Tuesday J J I want to keep on saying January June 30th and I wanted to close out this vlog uh, so Friday was the last day of school very anticlimactic the end of the year of the school year represents like kind of like this jump off into summer but since we're still in kind of a, a soft lockdown and I had to cancel my trip to Mexico there's not that much to look forward to I mean I'm glad to be off and not working online but I don't know it just feels kind of blah and there's the fireworks people could fireworks now even during the daytime it's not only limited tonight and um so friday was the last day of school and i wanted to celebrate my birthday that day because i kind of wanted to celebrate the last day of school plus my birthday that was really nice we had uh this favorite restaurant and the fruit tart and then uh sunday was my actual birthday and um i we did order food but it wasn't like to celebrate my birthday or anything since we did that on friday me and my sister i had gotten tickets a couple of weeks ago to do virtual drag queen bingo if you are familiar with drag race or drag queen charlie hides was doing it and it was a lot of fun um i highly recommend it if um you like bingo and <laughs> she just made it so so much fun so um that was cool uh these past couple of days i have been sleeping way too much and hopefully I can get out of this I feel like I'm in a little funk oh and then the last thing I want to show you is so um, the parents the class parents had sent this package and I was like that's strange I didn't expect anything but they gave us this gummy bear I'm sure my teacher I don't know if she got the same thing I gotta ask her uh, but this is so cute we were called the gummy bears this year the school year and it's something that I would never get for myself but I would totally want someone else to get me so it was such a nice unexpected present and I have to thank them um but yeah that is the this is the end of the vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it somewhat if you have any questions write them down below or send me a direct message and I hope that you have a great summer and I'll talk to you soon Bye.